the good shepherd has risen who lay down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all Dear brothers and sisters, God blessed us with another week, another day in our life. Let us be thankful to Him and give Him praise and honor through our worship. At the beginning of this Holy Mass, let us ask pardon and forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, be free. Encompass your family with perpetual health, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the word of God. At Lystra, there was a crippled man lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowds saw what Paul has done, they cried out in Lyconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Sus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Sus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he together with the people intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all what is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from the heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled with you nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. 
The response is not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, and the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Paul and Barnabas, they did, uh, Paul performed a miracle. 
like Peter, uh, in the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles, we read, I compared a man who was unable to walk, began to walk. And they thought that the Lyconian people, that gods have come down to us in human form. But Paul and Barnabas denied this and they want to give this glory to the God highest or Jesus who sent them to preach the gospel. It's our life, our mission also to give glory to God in every realm of our life. Everything what we do is according to the plan of God. God has planned everything for us and He made our life so. So, whatever success we have is because of God's mercy and love. When we acknowledge this fact, we are giving glory and honor to God. To practice or uh, to have uh, this mentality to give glory to God, it's important to have a thankful mind. Be thankful to God for everything. For example, when you wake up in the early morning, when we open our eyes, give thanks to God for giving us this day. And whatever we do, and whatever happen to our life, always say to God, thank God, or God, this is for your glory. So each and every instance when we give glory or thank to God, we are practicing the gospel. And as we pray in our sponsorials, not to us, O oh Lord, but to your name, give the glory. Amen. Let us present our prayers to God. For Pope Francis, for the bishops of the world, and for all of us in the church, that we may live lives of hope and reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. For those in pain, for the poor, for the hungry and the lonely, let us pray to the Lord. For, for the older people and for children and for all the people in our families, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are ill, for those with lonely hearts and for all who are discouraged and especially all those who are suffering from the COVID-19 and for all the doctors and nurses who will take, take care of them, let us pray to the Lord. For all the intentions that we hold in our heart, let us pray to the Lord. For all who have passed from this life, and for all who mourn the loss of loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Let us continue to pray the spiritual, uh, divine renovation here at Second Heart. Father of spiritual rigor, Work for your divine renovation on our Sacred Heart Parish family. Make us a welcoming community of love, forgiveness, and acceptance to all we meet. Inspire us to use our gifts and talents to become a parish of active apostles on fire for Jesus Christ. May we, may we be empowered by your Holy Spirit to share your love with others through the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Mary, Mother of the Church, Pray for us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness 
we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of our Lord's Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to the fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together with the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fold of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection,
instruction. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merry to be, go ahead to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, O your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and home by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the rulers, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. And we pray, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the support of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give, to, give it to you, says the Lord, Alleluia. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. There I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let's pray for vocations to the religious life and to the priesthood. God, our Father, today may have an opportunity by my actions to encourage a vocation to the religious life. Help me to conduct myself in a Christian manner, that I may give proper example, particularly to the end, through the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. May I also support those in religious life in their vocation of service to your church. May the sincerity of my prayers and my concern for vocations result in an increase of laborers for Jesus and his church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.